If you've ever made cheese, you'll have come across the many measuring spoons used for measuring cultures. Each size even has a name, typically including the tad, dash, pinch, smidgen, and drop. But where do they come from? The names have been around for ages, being referenced in cookbooks and recipes before they had to be exact as they are today. Generally, they're measures for very small amounts of an ingredient, and it's up to the cook to decide how much they want to add. Some of these measurements started to get more specific in the 90s, with the dash being about one-eighth of a teaspoon and a pinch less than a quarter of a teaspoon. It's not until the 2000s that sets of mini measuring spoons start to appear, and by the 2010s, they start to be used by writers of cheesemaking books. Before that, cheese cultures were usually measured by pre-bought packets of starter culture, or by using a mother culture, prepared in advance, which acts a bit like a sourdough starter. 